All new tonight at six, the White House hails the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 as, quote, the foundation for a strong, equitable rec recovery. But a Where's the Money investigation found the program shorted one of Charlotte's largest suburbs. The emergency money will help shape the future of towns and cities post pandemic. But Nate Morbido learned the town of Huntersville feels slighted. Our analysis revealed Huntersville is at the bottom of the list in the Carolinas when it comes to how much federal aid it will receive. So low, the governor is stepping in to help. 1974, Richard Nixon resigns. The rumble in the jungle captivates the world. And this town, Huntersville probably had, you know, one to 2,000 people in 1970, is far from the bustling suburb it would eventually become. A lot has changed. Today, the federal government is using a formula from 1974 to dole out pandemic relief money to metro cities. A community needs formula that looks at poverty, population, housing overcrowding, and age of housing. It was created in the 70s to address conditions in the 70s. A formula town officials call antiquated. <laughs> it was a shock for us, for sure. Federal records show Huntersville, now home to more than 58,000 people, is set to receive fewer American Rescue Plan dollars than 15 other cities and towns in the Carolinas with smaller populations. Just under $83 per person, among the lowest per capita in North and South Carolina, and well below the $196 per person average. And not just that. $12 million less. We were all hopeful that we would get close to that sum. Than this congressional report first estimated. We were led to believe that's what we were getting and um, not the case. Huntersville is among 142 cities across the country considered metros by the Treasury Department, a new label for this town and the town of Apex. We're the ones that seem to be uh, losing the most money. A federal distinction their mayors say cost their towns millions in federal money. To think that you know, you're penalized or you're given sort of a, a different playbook than you've uh, had to work with in the past um, you know, is tough. They've since mounted a campaign at the state capitol to fill in the gaps. We knew right away that that was a problem for Apex and for Huntersville. Senator Natasha Marcus says lawmakers quickly responded and the governor redirected some of the state's ARP allotment in his proposed budget, $12 million each for Apex and Huntersville. It's very important that they get their fair share. Senator Marcus says there's bipartisan support, once again setting expectations high in Huntersville. Town leaders hope this time those expectations don't lead to disappointment. Once the money arrives, the town can use it for a variety of things to meet local needs, including supporting families, businesses, essential workers, and infrastructure. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.